Hi, this is Quantum Max. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you Imperial. So this is a Python library dedicated to portfolio analysis, and actually it's brand new. So first version was released just less than two weeks ago, and a bunch of features are in beta and in development. But still, decided to show it to you because it's really interesting. Uh, they took like functionality of portfolio computation, uh, portfolio optimization, and put it into a very simple interface that allows people even without much programming experience in Python to run this without any issues. So now let's go and see how it works. Let's start with, with just importing uh, the library. So I will use uh, from Imperial import everything. So next we have to define our portfolio. So I will use create like a variable and I will use uh, engine a function from Imperial to define my portfolio. And here you have to define a few things. So first of all, you need to set your start date. What date you want your portfolio to start? I will use a first of Jan 2019 as an example. Then you have to define your portfolio. And here, like in um, in, in in array, you have to list all uh, like symbols do you want. To use in your portfolio and here like the biggest problem of um, i think imperial for now is that it uses for data it uses only yahoo finance so you can use only yahoo finance symbols and there is no way uh, for now to load your own signals so but basically everything you can find on yahoo finance you can use here so let's add a few uh, stocks here so what else can i use like microsoft uh, Let's for fun at GME. Um, let's at Facebook, um, Amazon, and um, what else? Let's use Visa for now. So that's it. Now we have to define weights for our portfolio. And just for simplicity, I will uh, will put like all the stocks at set twelve. 0.5%. I'll just use multiplication for my list to have uh, all weights equal to 12.5%. And also I have to select my benchmark. So let's uh, use um, SPY, for example, uh, for just for simplicity. And that's basically it. Let's execute it. Let's execute it. And after that, we can actually compute our um, portfolio using imperial function the same as your um, library name so just let's put this here like our portfolio and let, let's wait for a few seconds and in a few seconds it will be ready as you can see in the output you have quite a lot of useful information about your portfolio you have like returns volatility sharp calmar you know like max drop down sartino you know like and so on alpha beta for your um, um, for your uh, benchmark, also here you can see a plot of your returns. Um, it will be nicer if plot can be uh, can be interactive at some point, so we can zoom in, zoom out. Uh, but for now, they're just static. Also here you can see this is you know like your cumulative returns uh, versus your uh, benchmark. Here you can find like a table of monthly returns, so you can understand better when your strategy performs uh, better. Um, also, here you can see this is an underwater plot, so basically it shows your current like drop-down for every uh, date in your uh, history, and here you can find some analysis of uh, worst five drop-downs in your bench and in your portfolio. Here you can see all these uh, periods highlighted. Um, also, here you can find some rolling metrics like rolling volatility, rolling sharp, and rolling beta. So as you can see, it's quite easy just with one command. You've got quite a lot of information about uh, your uh, portfolio. So another interesting thing is that you can try to predict the performance of your portfolio in the future. You can use Oracle function. You just don't need to add any other parameters here. Let's launch it at see and wait for a few minutes. So it took only about two minutes to compute uh, predictions from Oracle um, function. And um, uh, basically what it does, it takes all your stocks and it takes about 10 different uh, time series prediction models. And it runs all your stocks across all these models, trying to predict um, like future performance based on a previous uh, price fluctuation of the stock. 
And uh, first table here, here represents accuracy score. So the bigger number you see here, the less uh, this stock is predictable using this model. And as you can see, GME, of course, is not predictable a lot at all. In the second table here, you can find actual returns, uh, predictions for all the stocks, for all the models. And third table here is just summary of all predictions for your entire portfolio. Take a look at this Oracle function. It might be pretty interesting for you. And now let's go to the topic I am most interested in. It's uh, portfolio optimization. It's extremely easy to run this in uh, Imperial. So first of all, I will modify my um, uh, portfolio object. I don't need weights and benchmark for optimization. I will run it. And here I will use um, optimizer function. And in this function, as a second argument, I have to pass type of optimization I want to run. And I will use EF optimization. It stands for effective frontier optimization. It's probably the most, most uh, well-known optimization for portfolios. Let's run it and see how it looks. And in a few seconds, you have your um, optimization results ready. And um, here you can find you know, annual return of your optimized portfolio, volatility, sharp ratio. Here are suggested weights. Uh, below you will find like a pie chart with all the weights. And as you can see, it consider completely removing Apple and Uber from our portfolio and uh, just a bit of GME. So um, also below you will find like a chart for comparing uh, optimized and non-optimized portfolio. And I think non-optimized portfolio, it just gives like equal weights to all your stocks. So you can see how better it is than a non-optimized portfolio. Also, in optimization uh, function, uh, you will find two more optimization methods. You will find um, um, also mean variance method and hierarchical risk parity. Check documentation. It can be pretty useful for you as well. So I think that's it for Imperial uh, package. I think it's pretty interesting library. It's a bit raw, but it's only in the beginning of its journey. I think uh, guys doing a pretty good job, so I think it's important to support them. And I think already, even in the current state, it can be pretty useful for you. So I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you next one.